Today I'm analyzing the James Bond roulette system and I'll be giving it a true score rating at the end of this video so you'll know if this system is right for you. My name is Matt and I can predict how you'll do at the casino. I programmed 100,000 bots to test this system. We're going to see actual data, bankroll requirements, and we'll find out how many bots can stay in profit after hundreds of casino visits. The system we're doing is pretty simple. It's $140 on the high numbers 19 to 36, $50 on this street that's right next to that 19 to 36, and it's $10 on the single zero. We're at a double zero table today, but I'm going to run the simulation against all three table types. Let's run through it and see what happens. 24 black. All right, we won $140. That's one to one payout on the high numbers. Seven red. Got whacked with the seven. Nine red. Another whack. Five red. Another whack. <laughs> 24 black. And there's another win on the high numbers. 26 black. Another win on the high numbers. Now in the actual experiment we're running today, we're going to stop on a single win. So we would have stopped on that first spin. 29 black. So that's essentially how the system works. Now we're going to dive into the report and we're going to see the data. Here's the simulation report. There's 40 pages of data here, so we're not going to cover everything in today's video. But if you do want to dig deeper, you can read this report and all my other reports at thinktank.dicedata.info. Here's the simulation run overview. This is the data that we're going to be looking at today. We have simulations of all three wheel types, 100,000 bots per wheel, and each bot is going to have exactly one chance. They're taking $200 into the casino. They're going to try the James Bond strategy. They're going to spin and they're either going to win or they're going to lose. Let's find out what happens. Here are the metrics from the house's perspective. Each of the wheel types had $20 million bet. You can see the total one, total loss, and the resulting house take, which is about three times higher on the triple zero. These are driven by the number of zeros on the wheel. So we have a moderate, elevated, and substantial house edge, just as we expect. So how often did our bots win? Well, about two thirds of the time they won on the single zero. That of course decreases as you add zeros to the wheel. About a third of the time they lost their full $200. But what's more important than how often they won or lost is how much they won or lost. So we can see that here. Typical win was $80, 50% were higher than $80, 50% were lower than $80. The middle 50% were between a loss of $200 and a win of $80. The middle 90% are between a loss of $200 and a win of $100. And the absolute most that they won was $160. Here's the strategy risk profile. On the x-axis, we have how often the bots won from 0 to 100%. And on the y-axis, we have the win-to-loss ratio. And we know that this is a pretty weak win-to-loss ratio for this strategy. But since it has a fairly high win rate, it does land in the grinder section. Here's some data about the individual bets. So the straight bet won about 2.7% of the time. Double straight won about 16% of the time. And the high numbers won about 48.7% of the time. This chart shows which bets win and lose the most money. No surprise that the high bet wins the most and loses the most 58% of the wins and losses in both cases. And that's because it's $140 bet compared to the much smaller bets on the double street and on the single zero. So in this simulation, the bots only come to the casino with $200. They just have one shot. But what if they tried to do that over and over again? Well. We saw in one session, they were going to be profitable about 67.4%. That's what we saw at the top of the video. But if they come back to the casino and they want to do this 10 times in a row, that drops to about 42.7% on the single zero wheel. 20 sessions, 42.6. Then it drops 38%, 33, 26. And after 500 sessions, there's actually 16.1% of the bots that are still in profit after 500 trips to the casino, throwing this $200 on the table. 
Look at how this changes, though, when you add zeros to the wheel. At double zero, that plummets to 4.3%. And on the triple zero wheel, that drops down to 0.7%. So seven out of a thousand bots would still be in profit on a triple zero wheel after playing the strategy 500 times. And like I said at the top, what's really important is how much the bots won versus how often they won. And this chart shows that. So you can see after 500 sessions, 8,040 bots is the fifth percentile. Those are the most unlucky bots. They were losing about $8,000. The most lucky bots were winning about $1,940. So that's an actually impressive win. Here's the true score report. We're going to start off with single zero. House Edge, moderate, gets three stars. Profit and loss balance actually gets five stars. And the reason for that is because it's very high win rate. Uh, about two thirds of the time you're going to win with this strategy. And the amount that you win is anywhere, you know, $140 or so, pretty close to that $200. So it does well on this dimension. Volatility is mild, which is, of course, it's only one spin. So vol volatility is going to be mild. Jackpot factor is capped. Those best sessions are barely going to cover the worst sessions. And betting power is minimal. It's just one shot. You're either going to lose your whole, whole $200 or you're going to win and be able to play another day. So no surprise that this rate's higher for the paycheck player. The paycheck player is that person who wants to go into the casino, throw down that $200, give it a quick hit, see if they can win some money and walk away. And they're going to win more often than they lose. But occasionally they're going to lose that full $200. And of course, bankroll $200 is going to be sufficient because that's how we programmed the strategy. So that's all I have for you today. If you found this interesting, I hope that you will give the channel a subscribe. I'm a pretty new channel and trying to get started here. As always, good luck at the tables and thanks for watching.